Hello my little woolies. In this tutorial you will learn how to knit the Honeycomb Brioche Stitch, a classic in the world of knitting. I have to tell you I almost forgot about it, but recently a friend of mine sent me a picture of her where she's wearing a scarf that I gave her around 10 or 12 years ago and this beautiful scarf is knitted in this stitch and then I realized that I had to do this tutorial because it's so chunky and cozy it has a rich texture it's perfect for winter garments and it's a four row repeat pattern the same steps will be repeated all the time so it's really easy to memorize okay grab your needles and let's get started Firstly, we need to cast on an even number of stitches. This number will include the two selvage stitches, the first and the last one. The selvage stitches will be knitted on each row and we have to knit two set up rows that won't be repeated again. So first set up row, knit every stitch. When you get to the last one, knit it through the back loop. I like to do it because so we can avoid a huge loop there. Set up row two. We are going to knit the first stitch because it's a selvage stitch. And now we're going to purl to last stitch. and we knit the last one. That's it. From now on, you have to do always from the first to the fourth row. So first row, we start with knit one. And now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find all my patterns on my website, sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. So the repeat is knit one and knit one from the row below. Insert the needle through the V that you see from the previous row. Not this row, but the row below. This is it. Let's do it again. Knit one and knit one from the row below. Knit one, knit one from the row below. You can always stretch the stitch to see what you're doing. Knit one made one from the row below and repeat net one net one from the row below 
when there is only one stitch left and the row with knit one. Second row. We start with knit one. And now comes the repeat. You will see that there are two bumps around the next stitch. Pick up the first one, the one that is closest to the needle, it's like a long strand. Pick it up and knit it together with the following stitch from your left hand needle. The following stitch has just one bump, so we're going to knit it as usual. That's the repeat. So, pick up the first bump, the long strand, and knit it together with the next stitch. Net one. Again, you will see two bumps. Pick up the first one, the long strand, and knit it together with the next stitch. Net one. And repeat. Every time you see the two bumps, Pick up the closest to the needle and knit it together with the next stitch. And knit one, as usual. Pick up the long strand, knit it together with the next stitch. Knit one. Use the tip of your needle to see where this long strand is and keep repeating when there is only one stitch left and the row with knit one. Third row, it's like the first one but we're going to invert the steps. We start with knit one and now the repeat is Knit one from the row below and knit one as usual. And repeat, knit one from the row below, knit one, the normal one. Knit one from the row below, knit one. Knit one from the row below, knit one and keep repeating to the end of the row. Knit one from the row below, knit one, and end the row with knit one. Fourth and last row, we start with knit one, and again we're going to invert the steps the repeat is knit one, normal one, and now pick up the strand and knit it together with the next stitch. Actually, it's easier to see the long strand now on the fourth row on, and from now on. Knit one, normal one, pick up the long strand and knit it together with the next stitch. Knit one and knit the long strand together with the next stitch. And repeat to the end of the row.
when there is only one stitch left and the row with knit one. That's it. Rows 1 to 4 create the pattern and will be repeated until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off purlwise after an odd row, wrong side of the work. So that's it for today, my little woolies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy knitting!